Allocating overhead and organizational expenses to government and private grants can be cumbersome and inefficient. At a time when reporting results to donors and grantors has never been more important, organizations that can't accurately portray the financial details of their program initiatives could see decreased funding. Allocation management for Financial Edge NXT automatically allocates amounts by account, project, or any other general ledger detail. It provides mechanisms for both direct and indirect allocations, as well as reallocations based on ending balances, average daily balances, or net change balances. This eliminates the need for external spreadsheets that don't have built-in validation. With allocation management, you no longer have to spend time performing cost and income allocation calculations for each and every project. Simply define your pool and add projects to it, specifying the asset or other accounts that make up the project's portion of the pool. Then you can let the system do the rest. It even accounts for fixed amount and percentage fees based on each project's balance. In this demonstration, we'll look at two examples of how allocation management can be used to automate complex allocations. First, we'll take a look at how the module can process an indirect cost recovery pool for facilities and administrative costs. Then we'll take a look at how it can allocate investment activity across a pool of funds such as managed endowments. This is hardly a comprehensive list. There's much, much more that allocation management can do. But these two cases should hopefully get you thinking about how allocations can be managed and automated in your business office with your unique requirements. For the indirect cost allocation, we'll start in the rate, which can be built and updated by users based on negotiations with funders. The percentage rate values can be given predetermined dates to account for upcoming changes. Next, we'll take a look at the pool representing the target for the allocation. Pools can include any variable in Financial Edge NXT's general ledger structure, including projects, and most importantly, groups of accounts. Accounts can be manually entered, searched, or loaded automatically by range or query. Once the pool and the rate have been established, the allocation connects them and looks to detail in the general ledger to process the journal entries. The calculation method that we'll use is the net change, and we've built the template to look at activity in the last fiscal period, which will update automatically as the calendar turns. Financial Edge NXT offers additional options like skipping items with negative activity or excluding activity within a certain time frame. The pool will show us the activity in the relevant records and apply the rate value calculation for our review. In my example, this activity will be used to populate a receivable and to book the revenue as we report it to the funder. But the indirect cost allocation tool allows the allocation builder to choose any number of destinations for the journal entries resulting from the calculation. Output options allow us to select the dates of application as well as the references that tell the story in the general ledger. The pre-allocation report allows us to check the results before processing. And finally, we're ready to allocate. The results will now show as a batch of journal entries in General Ledger. During setup, organizations can decide whether those allocations book to GL right away or whether a second review and approval is required. This allows you to map allocation management to your real-world workflow and transform your accounting controls for the digital age. Now, let's take a look at the investment income allocation. We'll move a bit more quickly through this example since we'll be using the same tools as the last example. Starting this time in the fee schedules, we'll see how Financial Edge NXT can record things like management fees for endowed funds with options for fixed amounts and percentage fees for funds of varying sizes. Now we'll head back to the pools, but this time we'll skip the indirect cost pool and take a look at the investment pool. The basis for this allocation is the projects that are representing the endowed funds. And in our imaginary nonprofit, we're managing three such endowments in short-term and long-term investments. The defaults will apply our management fee that we just evaluated in the fee schedules. 
these projects will be the targets for the indirect revenue allocation. We've already selected our investments allocation pool, and now we can enter the amounts that we see on our investment statement. Each income type will have a source and a destination account for each endowment where the journal entry can be booked. Notice how the debit in this example stays the same, whereas the credit changes based on the nature of the income. The calculation method we'll use will be average daily balance over the prior period, and once more we'll skip anything should it show negative. All that's left is to validate, not something that we can usually do in Excel. And finally, allocate. Before we report to the donors, we'll make sure our management fee is recognized. All we have to do now is run the management fee allocation using the default fee schedule we associated with the pool. This indirect expense allocation can be run after the income allocation. And that's just one example of the way allocation management can be used to template step-by-step -step allocations to make complex problems into easy workflows. Now, not every organization that uses Financial Edge NXT will have endowed funds, but every nonprofit needs to get a handle on allocation strategy or risk-facing consequences during or after audit. We've seen how the allocation management module can store these allocation templates in a way that streamlines workflow, validates data entry against the general ledger, and allows for endless customization as organizations grow and as needs change. I hope you uncovered some ways that this module can improve your life and your organization's month-end, quarter-end, and year-end business practices.